here. Period. Y'all, I got my eyebrows done. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy because. Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayal. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. What's going on, y'all? It is another weekly vlog. The braids are still in, looking crazy. I have them on top of my head, just doing whatever they want to do. Anyways, um, we have a pretty packed week, I would say. Today, I've been super, super busy. Just with work and getting my house in order, washing clothes, I just finished washing all the clothes, uh, getting all my work stuff together. Like I said, I have so much I have planned and prepped for life. I'm so excited. Like we're rolling out like this new thing that I'm going to tell you guys about um, soon. And yeah, just a lot of stuff going on, y'all. And I'm just super, super, super excited. If you don't know what Light Fit is, what is you doing? Make sure you go down below, click the link, um, check out Light Fit and what Light Fit has to offer. Anyways, today we are going to be meeting with my party planner for my 30th birthday bash. Uh, we are going to go look at the spot where my party will be at. My mom is coming with me, of course. But I didn't think she would want to come, but she asked like to come. So she's coming with me. And we're going to look at the space, see if the space is doable. If so, like, perfect. Uh, the party planner will take down the notes and stuff that she needs. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to be a new woman. I'm getting the brows did. Tomorrow is when I get, like, the big... I don't know it's not operation but the big day when i'm getting i'll be getting my eyebrows done the little micro shading blading jonsky um and i'm gonna see what we can record and what we can but she was totally cool with recording but we'll see how that goes and yeah guys i'm about to get dressed y'all see this behind me i'm about to get dressed uh it's almost 11 o'clock i'm gonna eat me probably an apple i need to prep my sweet potato fries i need to peel them and stuff yeah let me show y'all this is like my to-do list and everything i've done thus far and it's like 10 o'clock right now yeah and it's crazy y'all like i went back to the gym just to not go back to the gym so i will be out of the gym probably until i probably end up going back january 27 just because when i get my eyebrows done like i can't work out for a week i can't sweat because it could cause infections and stuff so yeah i literally <laughs> literally went to the gym for like a week altogether <laughs> but i can't go back yet and y'all know i'm only gonna be working out three days a week because i can't do chest day and it's recommended i don't do shoulder day until my boobs are all the way dropped and my boobs um just talking to my girlfriend who got her boobs done went to the same doctor goes to the same gym like her boobs didn't completely drop for six months so we have some time and i probably won't be revisiting shoulder day until Thursday, shoulder day, until like four or five months post-op. And chest, not until six months when they drop it, drop, drop, for real. <sighs> yeah. And we're going to dinner this weekend. We got a whole lot, a whole lot of this weekend. And I'm excited. It should be cool. It should be fun. Um, it should be an interesting vlog, a fun vlog. So, I will be back. Guys, I love... I don't know if I told you already. This lip gloss, it's called Lip Tint, that I got for Christmas. I love it, and I don't even know where it's from. But it's, like, called Pink Mint. You'll see. Pink Mint. I really, 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 really enjoy this. Like, once this is gone, I want to get more, and I have to figure out where it's from. Anyways, it's not why I came on here. I came on here, guys, because I have a new fragrance. Y'all know I love me some perfume. And this is not the one that I was talking about with a replica for Baccarat. That's going to be coming, though, because it's very, very affordable. So I'm going to get that soon. But this one, this one, I'm super excited about. How about this was a blind buy? I don't know what this smells like. I know, I'm horrible. I don't know what it smells like, but the reviews were really, 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 really good. And the bottle is beautiful. Beautiful. How cute is she? 
she's so cute and um this is from victor and rolf like the same person that or the same people person i don't know the same brand as flower bomb which is literally one of my top favorites so we're about to smell this together oh yeah y'all see i like change i just put on this two-piece set it's like i don't know what to call this shirt it's like crop but like big and then i just put on these pants that go with it it's just a little set and these are my socks you know i love me a fuzzy sock and i'm gonna put on some uggs with them i'll show you the uggs later and then my favorite jacket i'm probably gonna put on cute little fit cute little comfy fit you know we love a comfy fit okay now to smell it i can tell a tiny bit from that okay okay Went up my nose a little bit. Mm. But we like it. Oh, yes, we like this. Anybody who has something bad to say, you tripping. Mmm. I feel like it has tiny hints of flower bomb. Mmm. It's so sweet. It's like, I don't know if this is mixed with my lotion because I got I got body butter on. Now, I feel like I need to spray it on something. I don't know why I did it. But I had to put it on my hand. Because I just washed my hands, but it, my skin has it on there. So, I feel like it mixed with my skin is really... Oh, y'all was just picking my face. I got a red mark. But my face is finally... I keep telling y'all every week my face is finally starting to clear up. But... Oh, Yes. It still is giving me hints of flower bomb. Like, this kind of smells a little bit like flower bomb. It's super, super sweet, though. Super sweet, kind of like with a cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy bubble gum. It's definitely giving date night. Oh, I like this. Totally recommend. This passes my perfume smell test. If you like fruity, feminine, girly smells, this is it. I would definitely wear this on a date night. Granted, I can't tell you guys how long it lasts. Mmm. Mmm. It smells really, really good. Cotton candy with a hint of like woodsy, like afterwards. That's why it's giving me like that flower bomb. Because that flower bomb is sweet, but it has like a woodsy tint to it. Yes. We love this for us. Where are the, um, Jonskis at? Like the notes. Where are the notes? I don't see the notes on here, y'all, but I'll look them up. But if you just put it in on TikTok, they just give you all the notes. Whatever notes are in here, I have these in some of my perfumes. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Now I just have to get my replica of Baccarat. Once I get my replica of Baccarat, I'll be done. I'll lay off the perfume, y'all, for a little while. I feel like I laid off for a while, so this was very deserving, if you ask me. Okay, where am I put her at? Because she pretty. So, I got my heel back here, y'all. She's a vibe. Definitely date night vibes. And this is just one tray. I don't know if she looks right over there. I feel like she would look better on this tray. Because we have one of the pink bomb we have the pink bomb back here and the black opium black opium and her go really cute and then like this one's like purple or louis okay we gonna make this work we're gonna move you right there we're gonna move you there move you here give her a spot with the girls these are like my travel perfumes Y'all, this Marc Jacobs, a winner, one of my favorites. Not only is it such a pretty cute, like, cute top, it smells like a Jolly Rancher. Delicious. Yes, I know, guys. I am just extra. I have a lot of perfume, but I love to smell good. Yeah, I really love to smell good. Not only do I like to smell good, I like my men to smell good, too. Like, it has... We have to match, you know, the energy. Has, we have to be there with each other. I can't just be smelling good and you smell real regular. 
Okay, I have a meeting I have to get to and my storage is filling up. It says I have one minute left to film. So let me delete some footage off of here. Y'all, so do y'all remember? Y'all remember, right? Y'all remember how PayPal tried, well, not PayPal, um, God is dope, try to get me. Did I ever tell y'all that was a company? I think so. But long story short, I was like disputing the charge because I ordered something back October 23rd for Christmas, for it to be here on Christmas. And they never sent me anything about shipping. They confirmed the order, but they never sent me anything about shipping whatsoever, right? So I was on PayPal disputing the order. Long story short, I was refunded $150. I got my money back. And I got my money back like a week or two ago. In January, mind you, this was ordered in October. Uh, God is dope, never responded to me. I called them, I emailed them multiple times, nothing. Uh, went through PayPal, was hoping to get their attention through PayPal. I wanted the item, nothing. Escalated it at PayPal, PayPal reached out to them, nothing. Baby, why I had got shipment confirmation last week? And I'm like, are they really gonna give me this? Like, maybe they, like, I don't know. Y'all, I come home, the package is here. They delivered it. So I'm going to show y'all what I was waiting on. So I ordered a hoodie. This is how it came. But it just came in like this packaging like this, which I'm a little surprised. But whatever. Okay, okay, okay. It's cute though. It's really cute. So this is it. God is dope. And it has like paint splatter on it and everything. This is the sleeve. It's given like hair on Preston with this part, which I really liked. I thought this was super cute. Handmade in Atlanta, Georgia, courtesy of God is dope. But honestly, this interaction with them made me not want to order from them anymore, to be honest. Because I don't know when I'm going to ever receive my stuff next time. So this is cute. It says... The unauthorized rep reproduction or distribution of this copyrighted blah, 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 I don't feel like it. But so the front is a little plain, you know, it just has this there, but uh, on the back is where it has the cute design. So I thought this was really cute. Y'all know I like this color, the creams, the neutrals, and I have a lot of shoes and sneakers that would go with them. Really? literally a lot like i don't know how much y'all can see but i have like these jordans that would be super cute with this at first i was thinking maybe i could wear these travis scott's but it's it's a bit off but then i also have like these yeezys and some dunks i got a couple things i can go with but super cute and i'm happy i got it and basically, I got it for the free because they gave me my money back. But as they should have because this was horrible service. Y'all did not tell me it was going to take three months. No. For this? No. Absolutely not. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me just put this right here for now. Just don't have space for anything. And I need to hang this up. All right. I'm about to go finally peel my sweet potatoes so I can prep my sweet potato fries. And it's 11.13 and I'm ready to eat. I didn't take my hair out this week too. I'm taking it out. There's no way I'm keeping this in this week. Hopefully my mama helped me take it out. Because this stuff is pretty long. But I am happy that I ended up going with that expensive behind human hair. Because it didn't get frizzy or mess up like the synthetic hair would. Thank God. I'm with y'all girl. That's my squad. So we are at the events venue. Uh, of course, we are like 10 minutes early waiting for my dad to show up and um, waiting for the party planner to get here. And we will check out the space. I don't know why I feel like a little nervous because it's really dark inside, like the walls and stuff. So I hope she's able to work with the space is what I'm saying. Because like she would have to cover the walls. You know how they cover and drape the walls with like linens and stuff like she that. She could bring in lighting. like. Well, no, not even forget the lighting. It's just like for it to match the aesthetics of what mm -hmm. the vibe is giving. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so we're going to see. This should be interesting. I wonder if that's her. I don't know. There should be a Walgreens over here. I wonder what happened to it. And you sure it's this and this one? I think it's around the corner. No, it used to be, um... Uh, it's on the other side. Thing. 
Because I used to come live down the street. And I used to come here all the time. Mom, what you see how broke out my face was looking on the trip and didn't look at it now? Like, my face is just so disrespectful. Like, these bumps right here, this bump was so big. Really? It was like a big red bump and like... But what's going on with you? When, I don't know what's going on with me. My face is, just has a mind of its, of its own. Are you still using the, um, our face thing that I've been using? That wasn't working, so I had to give it's that a little break. You stopped. You no, it's because I got, I, ever since I got back on my birth control, my face has... It's just taking forever to get back to normal. Mm -hmm. Ever since. Ever since. Because remember, it got a little wonky when I was off of it. And then it started to get regular. Like, okay, it was used to me not being on it anymore. Mm -hmm. Got back on it. And now it's just doing a crit walk. Mm -hmm. You know, Harlem Shake on my face. It's disrespectful. But my face is starting to clear up now. But I feel like I always did it. Like, at first, my chin and everything was freaking out. And it's just like... I feel like we're coming to an end. Mm. So we'll see. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. I'm getting a headache. A headache? You need some Motrin? Why are you getting a headache? You ain't eat? I had a little bit. I didn't oh, let me see your sweater. Lot. Your sweater got the little thong. Mm. Let me see. I like my sweaters. I should have got a bunch of these more of these. It's from American Eagle, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I know. I know where you shop. I love this airy, not American airy. The same. What's this? What's this? Is airy? No, that's pink. Ain't it? That's the know. one I got you for Christmas. If it is, it's pink. Is it pink? Yeah, I got you those for Christmas. I got Brittany one of these. Okay, you want me one of I don't know, Mom, because you took my last bit of Motrin's last time. I have a whole brand new bottle. So you will always take all my Motrin's. I only need a couple. I shouldn't even be taking them. So, y'all, we just wrapped up. We met at 5.30. We leaving at 6.20, so that was a good time. Like, uh, I'm using Terry as my party planner. Uh, it's my first time meeting her in person, seeing her work all over, and it's amazing literally to die for literally gives the wow factor literally gives like celebrity party vibes so i wanted to go big or go home for my 30th birthday and i'm definitely going big period um and she was so nice so professional she was so cute like loved her style like she looked really really cute um but also like st very professional um and uh personable and definitely wanted it wanted me to like she's like you know telling me like tell me exactly like what is it that you must have and it was just a really really great like um consultation at the place um because wait till y'all see like the before and after of the place i'm not telling y'all exactly what the place is because some surprises but like i was a little nervous like is she gonna be able to work with this space and like I bring this space to light in my head like what's she that's why i kept saying the drapes because i'm thinking she gotta cover all these walls right so like i'm just like you know i wasn't sure that is one of the main reasons y'all might be thinking girl your birthday's in september but it's like if i had to get a new space i would need to start looking for that now places fill up like september is a big she month says she's booked she's booked she's literally booked all september she's already booked so if your birthday's in september sorry not sorry like she, you can't use her for anything in september she's booked but saying saying that to say like if i needed to get a new venue i would have had to start looking for that now places fill up so like, fast like weddings look how fast weddings exactly that's why like we had to i wanted to see her soon so if she couldn't use the space we would figure it out but she made me feel so confident and comfortable that like oh my party gonna be the ish my party gonna be the talk of the year period <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's how she made me feel so i'm a super exciting um yeah i don't know y'all this year's a big year i don't know if i'm doing my christmas party this year <laughs> i might take a month off i might take a year don't off short, don't shorten your um what what is that your coattails or don't what what is, what is that saying they say because this could be your year like this could be your your bless up this could be your my bless up my yeah, what mom your, what are you um, trying to say Cause you should never um sh what is that i'm trying to come up with that saying i know y'all know what i'm trying to say like it's say? almost like a shortcoming don't say you're not going to be able to do what you normally do and then some because every year is supposed to be a glow up so oh okay so you're saying like i get what you're saying i get yeah, what you're like, saying don't down yourself and say well, I'm what saying... you can't do no this is going to be what you can do and more some because each year is supposed to be the next step the next level you're leveling up 
Well, I was thinking like I'm going to have a lot going on. But you don't have sure. to do nothing. Basically, you're just paying for this stuff. Yeah, that's why, you, that's why you're I, not doing nothing. She that's why you have a party planner. You just walking in like she said, all you have to do is show up. That is a blessing, okay? You know what? What I need to do is reach out to the caterer. Is it too early to reach out to the caterer? No, because she could get you on her calendar now. And oh, what about you're the just DJ? giving her your date. My thing is for the DJ. He's a popular he, DJ. No, so you might want to reach out and say, hey, can you And it's from 8 to 12. That's four hours. So that's good, right? Yeah, perfect. That's the nine normal time. To 8 to 12. But yeah. you need to be say, hey, I need you to just put me down on your books for this date. We can talk when it gets closer, but I need to get my dates in now. If you want those certain people, and you know they're very yeah. um, come well known, you know her cakes are very popular. You know he's a popular DJ, and so forth. Even with your caterer, you need to figure out your food and your caterer. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I can reach out. You want out somebody to that's that's cooks and comes set up. You don't want to do nothing. You want them come and set it up. Yeah, I know this caterer will because from all right, y'all, we'll be back. Hey squad, good morning. I am making my way to my doctor's appointment this is like let me see november this is like my two-month checkup with um my surgeon so post-op appointment and he's just gonna check in see how they're doing see how i'm doing if i'm pleased and yeah so should be a really quick appointment like all my appointments with him post-op have been super 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 fast oh don't give me don't get me um they are always literally fast he checks them make sure i'm stretching i'm doing the massages he double checks on how i'm doing the massages to make sure i'm doing them right and then yeah so that is first on our agenda today and then next on our agenda later today we get the eyebrows done so i may be looking like a brand new chick or whatever so let me get there. I will be there in, whoa, I'll be there in two minutes. I'll check back in. Guys, how about I was not even on the schedule? So the receptionist just made me another follow-up appointment for next week on Tuesday. I wasn't even on the schedule. She said I was on the schedule last year, this date, this time. How crazy? How crazy is that? So now I'm thinking like, what if, because they didn't make my follow-up appointment here, it was at the other office. That sound is mad weird. I feel like my tire is rubbing up against something and I'm tired of getting my car fixed and putting money into it because I shouldn't have any problems. Anyways, sorry, so I know. Anyways, um, I'm thinking like when the people made my appointment, they might've thought it was already on there and they were looking at the wrong year because I don't get this stuff wrong. But whatever, so I'll be back here next week at 8.15. <sighs> Fine by me, doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. All right, guys, <laughs> the time has come. It is almost time to get my brows done. I am on my way there now, and just remember me like this. Just really be really like, <laughs> because the brows are gonna be given. Why do I feel like my brow don't look that bad right now? Like, I mean, it could definitely be thicker, but it doesn't look that bad. They gonna look better. They gonna look better. I feel like this eyebrow is longer than this eyebrow. Like my eyebrows, eyebrows are like boobs. They twins, but they not identical definitely giving fraternal pins <laughs> but I'm dumb excited y'all know always finding something to pick on my face but you know the face is getting better it is getting better so happy about that so the eyebrows should give Yes, um, ooh, 
All right, y'all. So I'll just see y'all. You know, I'll see y'all when I'm done. I'll see y'all when I'm done. If she um allows me to record or take any footage inside, I'll definitely do that and insert the clips coming up next. If not, you will see. You will see some stuff coming up next. Number four. She's about to get started. This is the room. You said it's cat crack. <laughs> Y'all, I got my eyebrows done. And I'm purposely not showing you guys right now. But I am pleasantly pleased. I love them. Let me tell you how I look like a br okay, excuse me, beep. Um, all right. I was just coming to a complete stop. I love my brows, y'all. I am a happy customer. The money, 100% worth it. It's 100% worth it. Especially for a girl like me, where y'all know what my eyebrows look like. Are y'all ready for the grand reveal? I think this is some good lighting. <gasps> y'all seen it a little bit. No, it's not the best lighting. Okay. I want to show you. 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 Okay, ready? Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done playing. Look. Look. Are you kidding? I was not gonna leave a face. Are you kidding? Like, are you kidding? <laughs> but are you kidding? I, I'm a whole new girl. Like, you got to talk to me nice if you're gonna talk to me. And that's just on period. It just looked like my eyebrows is done. So I got them filled in. And arched. But it really looked like my brows. When I get to my mom's house, you'll see better lighting. But I had to I had to show y'all. So, while I have your hair, let me tell y'all a little bit about the process. Whoever tell you you can't feel it when they doing it, liar liar i felt it she had she did numb me and everything but like i could feel it it didn't hurt though you want to know what it felt like at the worst at the worst it felt like because she told me like towards the end it'll get a little tender like which makes sense like you know the numbness wears off mind you they're not always going to be this dark either but my dark the darkness doesn't bother me especially not right now anyways it's not bothering me anyways though Anyways, anyways, anyways. It feels like a pencil scraping against your skin. That's what it feels like. A pencil scraping against your skin. Very easy. Very easy to get through. Like, although it's like a tattoo, it didn't feel like a real tattoo. Like, as hard as, as painful as a real tattoo. So, it was, it loved, like, I don't know. I'm lost for words, clearly. Clearly, I'm lost for words. I'm so happy. It just makes me love my face so much more. Like, your girl is ready. Wake up flawless, period. Uh, but I cannot brag enough about Yovana, who did my eyebrows. Like, if you're in the tri-state area, yes, tri-state area, Delaware, Virginia, Philadelphia, New York. I know I'm probably talking outside it, but like Maryland, like take the trip. She is worth it. She's so professional. And what I really enjoyed about her, a couple things I enjoyed. Very clean. Very, very sanitary. 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 Very sanitary. And she looks over her products even though they're brand new and she's opening them just to make sure there's no nicks make sure the needles aren't bent just like making sure everything is in place she took her time doing that which i appreciated there was like a consultation that was after me and we ran a little bit over time but she was like you know i'm gonna just give me a second i'm gonna let them know that i'm running late and get like for the simple fact that she was like i'm not the type of person to rush I'm not gonna rush your service, so if I need to reschedule them, I will. Um, 
that's not my goal, you know, because she, you know, nobody wants to be rescheduled. But that was a special case after me. Anyways, we're not even going to get into that. But she just made me aware that she was not going to rush me. And I appreciate that. You are playing with my face. You are doing permanent things on my face. I don't want to be rushed. Period. I wish more people were like that who did services, you know. And not that she was like, you know, took long past my service. It was probably like 10, 15 minutes. Mm -mm. That's like saying rush surgery or rush a real, like not a real tattoo because this is a real tattoo. But rush anything that's going to be permanent on my body. Mm -mm. So yes, y'all. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I, lo I love it. I love it. I love it. We'll look more when we get to my mom's house. She, I know she's excited to see it. I can't wait to show you guys her reaction. I haven't called her or anything. She doesn't know. She doesn't know that they're done. She knows getting them done. She just doesn't know that they're done. And we will see what she thinks. And if we... Y'all know. If you know, you know. My mom don't hold back no punches. So if my mom don't like them, my mom is going to say it. If she think they too big, they too thick, they too dark, she is going to say it. I can count on her to keep it real and not care about my feelings. <laughs> Mom, are you ready to see my brows? Yes. Why is it so long? Hi, Diana. Wait for the grand reveal. That's who you. They look good. I love them. What do you think? I feel like she did that in long, longer than that one. But she'll fix it when you go back. Yeah, this one was naturally shorter too. That one's longer, but she'll fix it when you go back. And that one has a higher arch. Now, they're twins, they're just not identical. That's all. Yeah, but they're What's not. What's wrong with her? Cook. She would just say ice cream, she's cold. She's not wrong with her. Oh. Your hair back curly, it looks cute and healthy. Look like you got your like the makeup on. Like you're saying that yeah. dark as mine was. Yeah, I was saying it looked like I got my makeup done. Yeah. Like it just looked like my eyebrows just like I just got my makeup done. It's making your eyes pop. You're it's like, giving like your light it's lightened up your eyes, the dr dramaticness of your eyebrows and your lashes. I just feel like I woke up I like this. You once you got your eyebrows done, you gonna I was gonna be it. I'm her. <laughs> I'm that girl. You washed your hair and took it out before you got your eyebrows. I know, but I really didn't have. It didn't make sense. But she bought me. She she gave me shield. That's why I was like, damn, I need to wash your hair so I can put my hair in the sink. I figured out. No messy lines. No paint bleed. For sure. Every time. <laughs> guys, I am making the commitment on camera with you guys that I am going to be more active on my social media platforms as far as TikTok. I'm going to be more active. I'm going to start doing like get ready with me. I'm going to start doing like, you know, just like a quick little daily vlog in my life of like what I actually did that day, even when it's super boring. Um, washing my face, I'm going to start doing that more, um, which I I'll also start doing more shorts on YouTube. So if you guys haven't, make sure you check out my shorts. Shorts are like quick little reels and TikToks, but it's for YouTube. And they said that is a good way to gain more exposure here on YouTube. So make sure you guys check them out. Give me a thumbs up on them. They're really, really quick. They won't take much of your time. Um, and what I'll try to do is start doing short so like a tiny little clip like vlog clip of the vlog that i'm gonna put out for that day or something like that i'm gonna try to figure out like a way to do it more active on the business life page those are some goals of mine as far as social media and my like entrepreneurship life because being active on my social media sites will just bring more people to youtube to to our vlogs that you know we all enjoy and then also to light fit one of the big goals is to grow Light Fit this year, bigger than ever. So being more active on all the platforms would just bring people to YouTube and then bring people to Light Fit. So we about to get it popping. It's not that hard. I just have to do it. I just have to do it. And everything takes time, but you just have to do it simultaneously and remember to do it. 
yeah so I'm on it and I'm saying this here to hold me accountable so if y'all don't see me doing this stuff and posting this stuff get at me get at me y'all I can't help it I came in the house and just took out the rest of my hair and I brushed out all the little fuzzies in front so it has a different pattern than probably the back of my hair which probably looks cuter and real cute and crinkly where this is brushed out and given bush and two different patterns because I brushed this out and got the gook out of this part. All I'm saying is I love the brows for me. I just am giving a look when I wake up. I had the lashes, now it's the brows. Dang, I really gotta make sure I'm not pulling and tugging on my lashes so I could just always give this full look. All right, well, I'm not washing my hair tonight. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. We got a list of things to do tomorrow from the house that I don't plan on leaving. We're gonna go through my inventory too. So she gave me these to put on my face when I decide to wash my hair. I'm gonna put this on here so that no water and stuff gets in it. It's like a visor. Very cute. And we have instructions in here. I'm gonna take this stuff off. So with your service, you get um, the soap to wash your eyebrows and then also the ointment to wash your eyebrows. It suggested two pumps of this and just a tiny bit of ointment and you dab it, you blob it. I have instructions right here. Days one through four, clean, blah, blah, blah. Gently apply two pumps of the foam on a cotton round, apply to brows and remove any excess by gently blotting with tissue. There is no need to rinse, allow to air dry. If proper cleaning is not followed, a heavy buildup and will result in significant pigment loss. So I'll probably do that when I get out the shower because supposed to air dry, I don't want to do it in the shower and then, you know, the, <laughs> the um, moisture and stuff. Apply a tiny bit of the ointment, only swipe the ointment across the brows. Do not massage or rub too hard. Cool beans. If I need an ice pack, I could do that. Change pillowcases the first two nights of healing. Avoid gym sweating saunas. From Keep hair away from tattoo. Avoid touching tattoo skin. Well, my hair is next to my, kind of next to it. So yeah. Days five through seven, continue to clean twice a day. And at then later, the ointment. Brows will get, begin to peel in five to seven days. Do not pick or pull it after skin peeling has subsided. This color will start to look softer and lighter. Maybe a little blotchy, that's normal. Over a six week period, brows will lose 30 to 60% of color implanted. But that's again why I have my like six week touch up. I think six or eight week took touch up. You should introduce the use of sunscreen after day seven, which I, which I do, but they're saying put that on the eyebrows. Told y'all, sunscreen is so important. Um, makeup and regular skin regimen may remain after two weeks when scabbing has completed. Cool beans! Alright, y'all. Let me get this hair up on my face. And then we gonna get in the shower and do our nighttime routine. Y'all, I love my, like, shower and nighttime routine. I really do. And I'm supposed to show y'all it. Not today, though. One day. Not two day. Okay. Phew. But I do need to, yeah. I'm Because I need to get my hair together tomorrow. But I wanted to do like a get ready with me house edition. Work from home edition. Get ready with me. That would be cute for tomorrow. For TikTok. That would be cute. But I wanted to do like a light fit one. So we'll figure it out. Good morning, guys. Ew, look at the eyebrows. It is a given, and I'm very happy. Listen, if you don't have eyebrows, I would suggest going this route for sure. But if you have eyebrows and you are blessed, listen, I'm jealous. But I'm not jealous no more because I got my own eyebrows. And they are going to get lighter for those who are like, oh, my gosh, they're dark. But I thought they were going to look even darker. So I'm pleasantly pleased, okay? Very much pleased. 
what what they're looking like and as you can see i took out those braids i washed my hair conditioned detangled and braided her up i was on crunch time so i can't really record and plus it wasn't that fun it was a little boring however i'm about to film me a tiktok i think i'm gonna film start filming my tiktok of like you know what i'm doing today i should have included this i don't know i'm figuring it out i'm working it out Figuring out, working it out. I have not ate yet. I'm hungry. It is 11.40, so it's about that time. Uh, I'm also about to go through my inventory, um, start creating names, prices, and counting out everything for our two-year anniversary for LinkedIn. And if you guys have not shopped, we did a buy two, get one free. I think it's still going on, so just check our Instagram page and shop our favorite items, our customer favorites great deal you don't want to miss it and i gotta go package up some orders because y'all been ordering and i love that for y'all mm. all right y'all so right now what i'm doing is um unboxing basically my inventory and i'm so excited about these tops that are coming out um yes uh and the tops i think you guys are really gonna like i got them in red black white and like that sage color that you guys can try on i think they're gonna be a hit i hope so anyways so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm trying to like tiktok this as well so like i'm getting video footage of just you know what i'm saying like the day in the life of an entrepreneur you know a small business entrepreneur because my life is totally different from a, what, big business entrepreneur? Absolutely. Absolutely positively because they're not doing this stuff in their house. But one day, y'all stay tuned for the glow up. When we, will, we, we will be in warehouses. We will have a staff on. We have a staff helping us out. Yeah, guys. So, so far... This is what it's giving as far as the stuff that I'm going through so far. I have sets up there. I have the quarter zips. I have our new like sports bra tops that I think people are really going to like. Okay, get into the nitty gritty. Y'all, they be really fitting a lot in these boxes, okay? All of this stuff, all of this stuff was in this one box. It's a lot of stuff. I don't know if you, if you, if you get me. If you know, you know. If you get me. <laughs> nope. All right. So I have everything unpacked, and I'm happy. Like everything is looking good. I have all everything. I got everything. Like they sent me everything as far as like the blood tongue twister. Why can't I talk? They sent me everything according to what I ordered. So that is great. That's why I love this new vendor I'm working with because they make sure they take their time making sure everything is accurate and checking off the list. If I ordered 10 of these sets in this size, they have it on point. They on point. So this is everything that we have for our anniversary second year anniversary this is everything we're rolling out we have two different sets in three different colors we have one set that's in brown green and like a charcoal then we have another set that's in black pink and a cream and then we have brand new tops that come in four different colors that you could wear with any pair of tights uh and we have another top that i love so much like I think of the name it's my favorite top so far it's like the cropped long sleeve like oversized sweatshirt v-neck given two colors uh didn't order a lot of those because I want to see how it goes yeah so now I'm about to track everything like write everything down as far as uh how many of each thing I'm about to start doing inventory basically how much I have of everything the name of each set the name of each top and the price day in the life of the entrepreneur okay okay hey y'all don't judge me because i've been wearing this pajama set all week but it ain't dirty <laughs> i'm gonna put it in dirty clothes today um uh, what'd you say mom I'm dirty, you think 
cooking and cleaning. Well, I'm not going to wear it today. The t-shirt, take that top off. Huh? Put a t-shirt on over top. Anyway, guys, one, I brought y'all in here is because I'm about to measure myself because I think, y'all might think I'm crazy because I just be, I've been planning my birthday, I'm planning my birthday in, in January. This is how I roll, though. I get obsessed, and I have to figure things out. Mom, you know, this dang measuring tape is tiny. Look at this, Mom. But where's your other one? I thought you had another one. Another what? Mom, I don't think I should be going to Zumba. I, I don't, I re first of all, I really want to go to Zumba, but I got my eyebrows done when? Wednesday night, two, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not even three days. If this was your eyebrows, you wouldn't be, you just want me to, huh? What'd you say? No. What are you saying? I just wanted you to go with me. No. I mean, I want to go too, but you don't have to go. I was just saying, you probably won't sweat that much if you wear one of your little Nike Vans sweatpants. Mom, I'm a sweater. You, you know, I your sweat best. like Do you. your chest. We ain't worried about the waist. We worried about the chest. Yeah, because my waist tiny. Is this how you measure the waist? Because this is as long as this, and it stays Close six. Up. Above your hips, right at your, right up underneath your stomach. Well, yeah, for a small waist, it's say sixty eight. I think I'm, I think I'm just that. Yeah, so maybe a medium is still gonna depend on your bust size. Because the right? the medium for the waist is seventy two. That's perfect. It's just my boobies. Okay, and then let's do. Let's see what we can, what I can make work with this. Go get the measuring tape, the one that we use for your um, construction. Not okay. I'm back. You want me to measure myself with this thing? Let me see if the way. Who this thing cold? Okay, so this is an inch, and it's definitely giving my waist. The waist is not the problem, so. Let's do the boobs. Now, how do I do the boobs? I put it right on my back and bring right it over. Right above, not on your chest, right above, like right the top part right here. I can't see you, Mom. Yeah, like right there. Like That's right here? Thank you, yep. It say a medium is 35.43, and this is literally 35.43. You might want to get a large. To have the room so she can tell That's going to be a 37. That's going to be out here. But she could tailor it to fit you how you want to fit so you don't have to worry about pulling nothing, tugging nothing. She's going to make it fit to your body. You don't understand. So I should get. But what if it's too long? She could cut it and hem it up. That's she can. What tailors are for. Tailors could do whatever you want. So get a large dress. I can't believe I'm about to get a large dress. Do your butt. Did you even do the butt area? It says waist, bust, and length. It doesn't have nothing for the butt. You know that butt and them thighs. The thighs, yes. But my butt, I feel like it's shrinking because I'm not in the gym. My favorite cozy jammies. <laughs> they go to the dirty clothes today. But I just only put my jammies on when I get out the shower. So I be clean. All right, y'all. So I am trying to get dressed for the night, and I'm also filming a TikTok. I never did a get ready with me TikTok. Don't mind my red bottom because these have been worn a lot, and that protective covering I used to have is just no longer there. And I'm trying to figure out what shoes I want to wear with this outfit. Oh yeah, and filming this TikTok is hard, y'all. I, I talk too much, and I feel like. I am. I literally only have 30 seconds left, so I literally can just show them my outfit and that's it. So I'm trying to figure out if I wear these Givenchy boots or if I wear the red bottom boot. <sighs> I don't know. I'm getting a little tired now. My energy is dwindling because sis is hungry. I think I'm going to go with the Givenchy boot. 
just because I haven't got as many wears out of it. Ah, and I think it'll be cute. I did a little makeup. Ew, I hate that. I got like little bags a little bit. What is that all about? Yeah, so anyways, I did a little makeup. Nothing too crazy. And I'm wearing all black. I'm going out to eat. I can't wait to eat because I'm hungry. Super early, still early. I'm getting dressed early because just stop at the pharmacy, drive through, stop at my mom's. And then, yeah, this is cute. This is cute. I like this. I like this top. This top is from Express, guys. I like these types of tops. And, you know, I got a little cleavage now, so I can pull her down a little bit. Express top, express pants. I'm an express girl. Y'all know that, though. Now, I'm going to take this hair out, and I'll be back with the finished look. All right, guys, I am fully dressed. I made my TikTok, so make sure you guys check out my TikTok and my first get ready with me on TikTok. Let me see if I can show you guys better this way. I always have the hardest time trying to get a full body on here and keeping it landscape, horizontal. So this is the fit, not sure how much you can see. Here goes the shoes. I have the short, sharp boots. But you got she. Um, yes, uh, I put on Flower Bomb as my fragrance mixed with Bon Bon. So uh, the unboxing of the perfume I got last week, you can see on last week's, no, this week's vlog. Yeah, I think. Yes, earlier in this vlog, I put on that perfume mixed with Flower Bomb. They went chef's kiss, chef's kiss together. But when I stop at my mom's, I'm going to put some more like hairspray and some mousse in my hair. Because I ran out of mousse and it's kind of I think giving a little dry, but okay, it's giving y'all see the cleavage. <laughs> Sorry, ain't nothing moving. Okay, we out. I'm starving. Your girl needs to eat. We outside. We not really outside, but we're literally we're literally about to go outside though. We're literally about to go outside. Okay. Good morning, squad. It's the next day. And I have to say, I am pretty proud of myself because I've been doing my thing on TikTok, okay? I'm not saying my views is sky high, but I've been filming. And I'm proud of myself. It's funny because I feel a little bit like a little face only, be, only because... It's been my first week. I told y'all I was going to be consistent on this vlog. And I've been consistent this vlog. The test comes the following vlog. So I'm trying to put my... I'm trying to put my, like, stuffing back in my shark boots. And so I can put them up and keep them looking fresh to death. Um, and I have on... A new nightgown, a new nighty. Y'all know I like nightgowns. I like PJs. So, your girl has on literally, literally a nightgown from Target. Literally love any of their jammies that look like this. I have a two-piece pink one and the gray one that I wore like three days in a row. But this is what I put on. Last night... I did a get ready with me and I did a unready with me. Sort of, kind of. These never stay up here like that. So it's like, I have to be weird. <laughs> Do something like that. Don't judge me, y'all. And then I need to take this to give to someone. Um, Y'all know the girls have been doing like a reset type of thing i was thinking about doing that and cleaning up my closet because y'all probably be noticing this pile of stuff right here this is literally though like stuff that i'm going to be taking on vacation that i don't wear on certain vacations or i don't pack so i'll put it here to be like okay girl pack this stuff up because you're going to take this on your next vacation i also need to reorganize my purses because this one which y'all always see looks raggedy and this one looks a little better but i need to like just reorganize it 
it'll be cool to do a video of like reorganizing my closet because look at my hats they are just all over the place a mess Anyways, I have a couple errands I need to run today. I need to get some mousse. I want to get some of my, like, daytime body wash. And some baggy sandwich bags. And some aluminum foil. And while I'm out, I feel like I should also grocery shop. Because it just makes sense. I don't have anything to do today until later. I think that's what we're going to do today. But it's early, y'all. I woke up at like 7 something. I'm like, why am I up? And I went to sleep at like 12 something. But my body just woke up. So I listened to it, got up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, uh, did my devotional, picked up my house. And I'm probably going to get in bed, watch some of my show, New Amsterdam, and then get up and do some of my errands. Y'all, the fact that I cannot find my bedroom remote is sending me like where the heck did it go i turned on my tv this morning <laughs> baby didn't even make it to watch my show for reasons i will not discuss at this moment later on later story time <laughs> and i can't find it so i'm hoping my downstairs remote <sighs> works <sighs> and i gotta show y'all my look for the day baby it worked it went off Thank God I have the same TV for upstairs and downstairs. Yes, I can't wait to show you my cute outfits today. Blurry. I'm wearing green because the Eagles play the Giants today. We're about to catch this W, period. I got to put on my Eagles gear. So with that being said, let me go grab my Eagles hoodie and put it out just so I don't forget. But I wanted to wear this outfit today because sis is walking advertisement. And baby, baby, I just got some fire lit under my butt. Fire. This don't match. This one don't match. I should get the black one. Let me get that joint. Oh my gosh. How to breath. I need to get back in the gym. But yes. Basically, y'all. Basically, I just got a match. Don't mind my butt. It's not looking big right now. Because of the angle. <laughs> Anyways, but basically, a match, a match was lit under my butt. And sis is on fire. In the sense of, it's time to turn it up a notch, okay? It's time to turn it up a notch. Let me drink some of this water. With that being said, get hydrated, girl. Because it's time to turn it up a notch. <laughs> I'm just now leaving the house to go do my errands. And y'all know I've been up early as heck and it's 12, 17. Okay, y'all, outfit check. Let me get my shoes. It's clearly a chill day, but if you ask me, every day can be a chill day. Ow. Okay, always a struggle getting this angle right. But it's giving life fix, new collection coming February for our second year anniversary. So I have on a green two piece and I did name it. I forgot what I named it. So let me tell y'all, but this drum feels good. This is the same material of the set that sold out at the sipping shop that I never got to post on the website because the sipping shop y'all snapped and bought everything. The given two piece set, period. Cause sis, you'll be given in this set. This is the one that I showed y'all way earlier when I was showing y'all samples of the brown one. This is the green one, given. I have a medium top and bottom, fits perfectly because y'all know down bottom uh, was already a medium. Up top, this is a medium now. And then I have on our cropped, our cropped long sleeve. Um, y'all seen this before too. But for our newcomers who have, may not have seen that vlog, this cropped long sleeve top is coming out. It's like a cropped sweatshirt. It is a v-neck. The logo on the sample's right here, but the original ones are going to have it up here on the chest. Um, just be so it's more visible and, you know, not everyone knows about Life Fit and we need them to see the logo at all times, all the time. You know, if we were Gymshark or Nike, it wouldn't really matter where it is because once somebody got a glimpse of it, 
they know what it is. So we want it to be easy on the consumer's eye and make it visible. Period. Okay. Yep. And I paired it with my Gucci bag, some cute scrunchy socks, and Uggs. Ugg Tuscan. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know my favorite lounge look. Period. Now I'm gonna get a jacket. I'm going to. Oh yeah. Switch out the purse. And here we have our Glamaholic card holder with cards, money, gum, MAC clear lip gloss, a spoolie for the lashes, hand sanitizer, AirPods, a pink NYX gloss, and a clear NYX gloss. You can never have too many clears. And they will go in this bag. And we'll just throw it all in here. Black luxury mixed with the other luxury. Black luxury, black designer mixed with the universal designer. Okay, let's go handle the errands, okay? Hey guys, this is everything I got from my shopping expedition today. I went to Aldi, Walmart, and the dollar store. Uh, got my water from Walmart, and then tell you what I got from the dollar store some of my favorite favorite finds at the dollar store I get the Reynolds wrap I don't use a lot of this that's why the dollar store works for me I know some people might be like it's only 15 feet but I only use like a small piece when I'm cooking in my air fryer I like to put that down when I put my food in there some people don't put anything down but I don't use it I don't use a lot of it so that works for me uh, I get my sandwich bags at the dollar store 58 this works for me and my Crest 3D White toothpaste. Uh, it is smaller. It's not travel size. It's not the big size, like medium size. Again, it's just me, so this works for me. It lasts for me for it. Especially, like, I brush at minimum twice a day, so it works. It lasts. This is from Walmart. This is the body wash that I like to use um, in the daytime. It is by Method Body. I really, really like it. It's an organic product. It's um, place-based ba place cleanser good vibes inside and it gives like a like a coconut it definitely gives coconut like milk vibes like i don't know how to explain it but it's a great smell they did not have my body conditioner so i wasn't able to get my body conditioner by olay that's the only thing i wasn't able to get that i wanted to get as a rip on soap i always keep bars of soap in my house one because i take these when i travel and then like if i do have guests or whatever and they don't like body wash because i wasn't always a body wash girl uh I always keep Dove body, um, Dove's bar, Dove bar of soap. I always pick these up when I see them. Like I have a few of these already, but I like to always have a new one on deck. This is like my favorite travel face wash. Um, survey, I, I use Survey, but the travel one is my favorite. So I just picked it up because I've seen it and I don't see it often. All right, I got these from Audi. Even though I got a dishwasher, I want to keep some fresh ones of these around. I'm getting used to using my dishwasher, y'all. How about I haven't used it yet? Nope, I haven't. But I do have stuff in there. Let me show y'all for proof. Because my mom is mad I didn't use it yet. I have stuff in here. I'm going to run it. Hmm, maybe I'll run it today. I don't have much in there. I just love to like just wash my stuff um, as I use it. But I'm going to use my dishwasher. My mom feels like that's why I broke the first time. Anyways, I got strawberries, green beans, 100% fruit juice fruits. Fruit cups, but 100% fruit juice. Grapes. Sweet potatoes to make my sweet potato fries. Ground turkey, and I get 3% lean. And I have my... I got these. I just was, I have a craving. And I'm like, I'm going to eat these later for a cheat snack with my cheat meal. Um, and... That's all I bought. I didn't get salmon because I have salmon and I have some chicken breast. So I should be good for the week, guys. And that was my shopping haul. Um, y'all, yeah. follow me on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok because I've been consistent. Like, I even been filming all day so I can do my, like, you know, what I did today on Saturday. Um, yeah. 
Hey guys, as you can see, it's a little later, it's darker outside, and I switched into my Eagles gear, Fly Eagles Fly. I'm on my way to pick up my seafood boil, and then I'm going to spend some much needed family time at my granny's house. All the fam is going over there to watch the big game and watch us, you know, get this W against the Giants. You know, you're seeing this in the future, or Pat, you're seeing this later after the game already. So, hopefully we cheering together. <laughs> Um, yeah, so seafood boil, family time, it's gonna be some cupcakes, cakes, chips, it's gonna just, you know, speak to all my taste buds. Today is cheat day, so I'm about to go ham, um, and tear this food up. I'm starving. And, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because, what the heck did I just run over? I don't know. I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here, but I'll wait and see till we get to my granny's house and maybe some, you know some good moments to record, you know. <laughs> so I am here to eat my food. Talking to the squad. This is vital, you have to shake up the bag. I heard you ate good. Before. Hey guys, I am back in the house. Tore the seafood boil up. Uh, and of course, the Eagles got that W. Period. So I just came in here at the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys are subscribed, following all my social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, following Lightfit's Instagram, and keeping up with all the new things coming out and all our steals and deals. Y'all know what I always say. No matter what, no matter what a chick or a guy gotta say, be the light wherever you go. Because wherever you go, the light shall fall. I love you guys so much. Bye.